So hi, everyone. I guess I'll, I'll kick us off with our next blitz of lightning talks. Uh, so I'm talking about running a corporate mapathon. And so I'm from Maxar. We have this great idea, have a mapping campaign, and then we'll have these completed tasks and new users of OSM. And of course, the middle part is, you know, what makes it easy. Why Maxar would be interested in doing this? So you may know a company that used to be called Digital Globe. We are now Maxar. If you care later, I have a whole hand motion of how we became Maxar through a series of acquisitions. But uh, if, you, if you know of Digital Globe, it's the same thing. And so we, uh, one of the leading suppliers of commercial satellite imagery, uh, we provide a lot of that back to OpenStreetMap, um, as well as something called Map Rules, which if you were at the validation talk earlier in the conference, we we're providing that also as an open source tool to be plugged into to OpenStreetMap. So as a company, we're very involved and very uh, ingrained in the OSM ecosystem. So the next few slides are steps on how you can run a corporate mapathon, uh, knowing that we have a group that's interested in imagery. They know nothing about, about roads. So first, you want to get senior level buy-in. You want to um, you want to make sure that this is not a rogue group, but you want to get up to the uh, upper levels of management uh, involved. And luckily for us, we have uh, all the way up to the CEO very excited about getting everyone involved to, to run a, a mapping campaign and participate. Secondly, you don't want to do it alone. Um, trying to, to run this as one person for a company in the, the tens of thousands is near impossible. Uh, so even if it's just a small group, five, six, ten people, whatever it may be, uh, making sure that you have somebody at every site, if you're a company that has multiple locations, um, makes life a lot easier and using things like Slack and email to, to stay in, in touch. So thirdly is, is selecting a campaign with a specific scope and mission. The first mapping campaign uh, that we did, at that point we were either Digital Globe or Radiant Solutions, one of our names, uh, we did a mapping campaign after Hurricane Harvey to map houses in Houston that were impacted uh, by the storm. Uh, most recently we did this uh, last month. It was a series of campaigns in HOT. We coordinated with that team. Uh, this one is in, in Myanmar. Um, we did about five different campaigns, but we wanted to have that mission, uh, that scope of why we were doing it, not just you know mapping roads in, in Boulder, uh, just because. So giving people a reason to participate and have, have a feeling of, of uh, they've been contributing to something important. Uh, fourth step, get mapping, but also uh, don't forget to help. So everyone here knows OpenStreetMap, knows how to use it. Um, Maxar is made up of a lot of geospatial software as developers, engineers, and also a lot of accountants and lawyers and HR reps and managers that have never touched GIS before. Um, and at least half of the people that participated came from that background. Um, so we said, all right, we're going to start mapping. And they're looking at ID Editor uh, like, with that look on their face. Uh, so it, it's kicking it off. And we had um, every conference room at every site. We had a dedicated expert there that would help talk people through and walk them through how to get, get started. Uh, and then finally, continue your engagement throughout the campaign. Um, we did a great job both through Slack, both through email, keeping everyone engaged. Uh, we kicked the campaign off on a Thursday. We kept it going through the entire weekend. And so that way, if people wanted to participate for maybe an hour at work and then continue on because they, they wanted to be the top mapper, they had that opportunity to do so. So our results, uh, and so Madison, who's in the audience, I won't point her out, but she's here, uh, wrote this blog post for us about what we did. Um, and you can see on the left-hand side, we had 116 contributors, uh, resulting in over 300,000 changes uh, and 1,500 change sets. And we created uh, over 200,000 nodes, over 45,000 ways, um, including about 1,500 highways and 44,000 buildings. And that all happened over the course of just a few days. Um, ultimately, of those 116 contributors, I believe about 80 of those were first-time users. So I actually wanted to find Jennings and see if we could uh, look at his chart and find out who, who had joined from our end. Um, and as I mentioned, we have a number of different locations. Um, Westminster is where our, our headquarters is, so you can see there's a lot larger group there. Uh, but what's exciting is in Palo Alto and in Brampton, I mentioned um, Digital Globe bought a company and then we were bought, so it's like all these different groups. So uh, the Palo Alto team, they build satellites. They've never mapped before. Uh, Brampton uh, in Canada, they run ground stations. They've never mapped before. Uh, so this was the first experience for both of them getting involved. Um, they all had a positive experience uh, overall. And so ultimately, this is probably the first of many. Five minutes. 
I'm a dot. So um, here's uh, my information, also Madison and, and Matt Gibb, if you have any questions, and you get your colleagues mapping and, and participate. Thank you.